If they so much, God ain't changing nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to give you what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you it. I'm going to give you the meat. That's it. But I'm going to give you that till you get tired of that. All right. And then what you going to do? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Then they went complaining about the meat. <laughs> See, that's, God. Why, that's why God wants you to get the flesh out of the way. That's right. He right. don't want no flesh work. That's one thing right. Pastor Flynn used to say. God don't want no flesh work now. And that's true. He don't want no kind of work. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be obedient to this word and do what this word says. Amen. Move all that calmness out of the way. Amen. Move the world out of the way. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. For it has been declared to me of you, brother, by them which are the house of Chloe, mm -hmm. that there are contentions among you. Now this I say that every one of you said, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, and I of Christ. Mm -hmm. Is Christ divine? Mm -mm. No. no he's it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And He wants us to be the same way. He wants us to be one with Him. Whatever He said in the Word, that's what He wants us to say. And if people don't understand, all you got to do is do what the Scripture said. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God. You, he might not show you everything, but He might show you that you need to do it. He yes. might tell you that you just need to endure hard. Yes. Be yes. a good soul. Yes. He might just tell you that you need to go through. Because it's something on the other side. side. That's right. Look at it, saint, for what the word is saying. Now, whatever he got for you is when you get on the other side. Now, yeah. the children of Israel were trying to get to the land of Canaan. Now, they were fussing about what they used to have. Now, they said, we remember the cucumbers, the leeks, and all that. Now, they were saying, we had plenty, and we had it better when we won't. Say, when we were in the land of Egypt, we had it going on. Mm -hmm. But now we ain't got nothing but this old mammal. But look at what God was trying to do. He was trying to get them to go to a land that was born with milk yeah. and honey. Yes, Once sir. they got in the land of Canaan, they will have everything that they need. Amen. God yeah. will bless them. The latter end yeah. will be better than the first son. Yes, yes, That's sir. how you got to look at it. Your blessing is at the end. End of the trial. Yes. Come on. Amen. 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 I got it. Look at it. Yes, it is. Your blessing is at the end. You got to go through. Amen. Right? But the common man, the flesh, is kind of looking at the situation. Mm -hmm. It's looking at the world. It's looking at what they used to do. I want to go and have some fun. I want to do this. I want to do what I used to do. I want to go with the world. I want to do this. And the word is telling you, come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Church not the unclean thing. He tell me that saints, it don't take much to see. You got to fight to stay safe. Amen. But it don't take much to go back and see. You look around, you be jumping just like you used to jump. Mm -hmm. You be clapping and dancing and moving just like you used to move. Mm -hmm. My God. You got to be very careful. Amen. The world of love is on. Amen. I thank God that I baptized none of you but Christmas and Gail. See, Paul was trying to let them know. Baptism ain't nothing but the Savior and a new creature. That's what he's trying to tell them. The water ain't nothing. And, 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 and who cares whether they were baptized or whether they won't? As long as they were saved, that's all that matters. Amen. Look at the big picture. As long as you saved, mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with getting baptized. But as long as you saved, that's what God is looking at. He's looking at a new creature when you look at you. He wants to see a new creature. When you stand before a holy God, he want to know how you got the blood on your life. Yeah, Do amen. you identify with his son Jesus? Yeah. Do you know him from the party of your sin? That's what he's looking for. Mm. Let's get it to say that I had baptized in my own name. Mm -hmm. And I baptized also the house of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized in it all. And Paul was just keeping himself under subjection. Because mm -hmm. he knew that the preaching of the gospel and the saving of soul was more important than anything. Amen. Right? For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Not with will of word that the cross of Christ should be made of none of it. See, that's why all that debate and stuff got to go. Mm -hmm. that's because right. it's in the way of the gospel. Amen. It's in the way, say. I was saying the other day, the last time I preached, it's in the way. All that mess is in the way. 
-hmm. It's making the gospel of no effect. That means people can't even get saved because they first are. Amen. They can't even get saved because they're talking about who the true Jews and who our, our Jesus was. He was black and they said some saying that he was white. Yeah. What is all that? Mm -hmm. who, who is that going to say? Right. It is nothing but another way of confusion. Mm -hmm. Where there is envy and strife, there is confusion mm -hmm. in every evil way. That's what the scripture says. It ain't nothing but more and more confusion piled up. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Mm -hmm. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Woo. Yes, sir. If they don't want it, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> I will give the power of God to all them that believe, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Whosoever will, let him come on. But if they don't want our take, now, if they don't want the sin, if they don't want the preaching of the gospel, I, I'll take it, saints. I, I love some good preaching. I, I love to hear somebody that's anointed by the word of God. I, mm -hmm. I love to hear somebody that's full of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I, it don't matter what their conditions is. I, it don't matter about how, whether they've been to college or what. I, long they got the anointing on their life. Ha. It don't matter if they're unlearned men. Ha. Long the anointing is applied to the life. Ha. The apostle Peter was an unlearned man. Ha. He was a fisherman. Ha. But look at what Jesus told him. Ha. He told him, he said, I'm going to make you friends of men. Ha. He anointed him to preach the gospel. Ha. He exalted him. Ha. He went from a disciple ha, to an apostle. Ha. He went from an apostle to he was the head man in the center of the disciples. Uh, he was the man that spoke out. Uh, he was the man that spoke with all boldness when Jesus went back to heaven. Uh, look at how he exalted the apostle Peter. Uh, look at what he done for Paul. Uh, he changed the name from Saul to the apostle Paul. Uh, look at the saints. Uh, he labeled more than all of the rest. Uh, he considered himself a chief sinner. Uh, yeah. But look at how God used the saints. Uh, Look at how God used the man of God. Ha. Look at how he took out handkerchiefs ha, and healed the sick. Ha. Look at how he spoke boldly to the devil. Ha. When they got tired of the devil, ha. and the devil told them, said, Jesus, I know. Ha. And Paul, I know. Ha. But who are you? Ha. Peter, look at it, Saint, look at Paul. He rebuked them. And the demon came out. Look at the authority that God gave. I'm looking at the Holy Ghost in people. Mm -hmm. I don't care what their background was. Mm -hmm. That's right. Long as they say now, that was right. looking at now. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people they still looking at Buster. Mm -hmm. They looking at Pastor B and B now. Mm -hmm. They looking at First Lady just being Ernest T. Mm -hmm. But see, folks got to get past that. And All these right. folks there like they couldn't get past that because mm -hmm. they were calm. That's it. They were still full of the world. Mm -hmm. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring nothing to understand of the proof. That's why God got to come back here and, 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 and fix this stuff. Amen. All this stuff is going to be burned up. Amen. He's going to destroy all this stuff. Amen. The Bible says he's taking the wise in their own craft. Amen. They ain't doing nothing but bringing more stuff and more trouble on them. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the spirit of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Mm -hmm. What is it? Hmm. If they're so wise, what they ain't saying? Mm -hmm. All right. If they're so wise, what they ain't preaching the gospel like the gospel said pre preach? Amen. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? He he's saying, where is it? What is it? Where is the spirit of this world? If they had so much wisdom, why did they crucify the Son of God? Jeez. If they knew so much. Mm. That's what the scripture said. Had they had known, they wouldn't have crucified the sin. If the princes knew. If Pound and Pound and knew. He would have told them, get out of here. All I'm right. going to set this man loose. Amen. I already Amen. know who he is. I already know he's the Son of God. And you better not come up here and do him or crucify you. All right. You put That's him right. Him. Amen. If he had been wise, like the scripture said, he would have put his foot down. Mm -hmm. He would have did like never could never did. Mm -hmm. If you try to come against the God that these men serve, I'm going to throw you in the fire. Amen. Yes. He would have put his foot down. Yes, he would. That's what the word is saying. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the fruit of preaching to save them that believe. Somebody won't. Right. Somebody right. said they don't want out there. I'll take it. Saints, go with me to uh, Numbers, the left chapter. I'm going to show you. See, this stuff is definitely to you. you. You got to put this stuff on suggestion. Numbers, the left chapter. And this stuff, they, these folks, they cry out so much, it ain't it, it up the man of God. And Jesus with a good stuff, with a long suffering self. Mm -hmm. He allowed him to talk. But his father, it said that the father law would kill him. He was ready to annihilate everybody. Because mm. you know what the scripture said, his wrath is but his anger is but for a moment. Mm -hmm. But it don't take God but a moment to do what he got to do. That's it. In the twinkle of an eye, in a moment, he can do everything that he needs to do. All right. I'm gonna start from the first verse. I'm gonna try to read through saying I don't want to hold you too long. It said, and when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger was kept. That's that common man. Mm -hmm. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost part of the camp. Mm -hmm. Didn't take long. Soon as God got upset, he, 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 he destroyed. And the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place. Tabera, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them felt a lust. They're talking about that common man. Because mm -hmm. that's, the, that's, that's the definition of common lust. Mm -hmm. It could be physical or it could be sexual. But in this case, it was physical. Mm -hmm. They went a lust. And they're talking about the mixed multitude. It ain't, it ain't got to the Jews yet. That's why a little level of level of hold on. That's why you got to be careful. You got to get rid of that common man. Amen. You got to put the common man on the right. suggestion. Amen. Amen. And the children of Israel also wept again. They just saw what God did. He just burnt the other side of the camp. Mm. And they went to lesson again. Since. Look how bad this flesh is. It, it, it's common. That's why no good thing went in this flesh. You got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. And the people cried to Moses, no, third verse, eight, no, fourth verse. And the mixed multitude was among them and fell a lusting. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? Mm -hmm. Now they crying now. Mm -hmm. We remember the fish for we did eat and eat. Look at the mindset that they had. Mm -hmm. That carnal mind. They still back there in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Talking about we had it better when we were back there. <laughs> what they used to mm -hmm. eat. And God is trying to fix them because if you look at the book of Deuteronomy, he said that he gave them now. He suffered them. He was trying to prove to them whether they would serve him and keep his commandments or no. Mm -hmm. He was trying to take them through. He was trying to get them to see that man does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. 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 We did eat Egypt freely. The cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this mountain before our eyes. <laughs> My God. And this is what God gave them a heavenly food. Yeah. This is what the angels ate. God was trying to fix them to walk after the spirit of God. But no, that flesh was crazy. That calm man had no rose up. It wanted what it used to get, what it used to have, what they had to eat. And the devil was in the midst of who wants to go back to a hard task now. But some folks are going. They ready to go back to the world. Mm -hmm. They ready to go back and serve the devil. That's, right. That's what they were saying. They wanted to go back and serve the devil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the mountain was a coriander sea, and the color thereof and the color of belly. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in meal or beat it in mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was as a taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the cap in the night, the mountain fell upon it. Look at the, the miracle that God did. They didn't have to do them, but just go out there and pick it up. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to work for it. Just go pick it up and eat. <laughs> and they still won't satisfy. Mm -hmm. 
And it kept them in the spirit. It kept them being obedient because their flesh was under subjection. That's how it is when you fast. You don't eat much and then they bring their flesh under subjection. Yes, it will. Then Moses heard the people weep throughout the family, every man in the door of his tent. And the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. Now he upset. It don't went from the mixed mother to, to the children of Israel. Yes. Now it don't went from the children of Israel to the man of God. It's pressure on him now. Mm. This is the same man that did all the miracles back there in Egypt. How God used them great the saints. This was the same man that told them, you know, look up and leave. Mm -hmm. This was the same man that told the children of Israel, he said, ye shall hold your peace. And God shall fight for you when he opened up the Red Sea. Look at Moses. And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And what have I, why, wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou layest the burden of all these people upon me? Now look how he talked. God told him and commissioned him to go get the people and lead them out of Egypt. Mm into a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. And he did great moves with, great work with Moses. Yes. Now he fussing at God. Mm -hmm. Have I conceived all this people? He trying to tell God that you the one created these folks. Mm -hmm. I didn't create them. You did. Mm -hmm. He fussing at God now. <coughs> and God commissioned him and, and, and used him. I mean, he knew Moses so great that one time Moses started fussing. He told him, he said, why are you crying to me? God told them like that, why are you crying to me? Mm -hmm. He said, what's in your hand? All right. He said, stretch out your rock. Mm -hmm. And look at him, now he fussed. Now how die bad this flesh he was saying. And look at the pressure they put on the man of God. I can see why the scripture said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Mm -hmm. They had touched God alone. Mm -hmm. And they had to pay for it too. Because God gonna play them. He's gonna see if they don't get chuck. God gonna play these for them. He's gonna give them to me what they want, but he's gonna play them too. Mm. And now they got the man of God upset. Have I conceived all these people? Have I begotten them that thou shouldest say unto me, carry them in thy bosom as a nursing father, burn the suffering child unto the land which thou swearest unto thy father? Now he repeated everything that God told him that he wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. And fussing at the same time. <laughs> but thank God for him, we have no sin to repeat. Amen. When should I have faith to give all of these people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. And he told them, said, Now they ain't bothering you, they talking to me. They putting the pressure on me. Right. <laughs> That's why he telling God. My God. <laughs> I am not able to bear all these people alone because it is too heavy for me. <laughs> but look how God done deal with him and he, and he was doing it. God used him. Mm -hmm. And look at the anointing that was upon him, saints. Mm. God took the anointing. That's why Paul said, that's why he told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient. sufficient. I see right. what the word is saying now. I'm learning. Amen. It was so much, it don't take much. For, the spirit of God is great. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. Amen. Amen. He took the spirit that was upon Amen. Moses and put on the seven of the mm. And they began to prophesy. And mm. they helped him bear some of the burden. Amen. But he was already going through. But it was the pressure that they had put on this man. Mm -hmm. And that thing will set God. Mm. And if thou deal thus with me, he said, kill me, I pray thee. Mm -hmm. Out of hand. If I have found favor in that sight, mm -hmm. he's making sure that he got his soul right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ain't that fucked on that he can't repeat. All right. He's right. making sure that he got himself together. Amen. The flesh is dangerous. Yes, it is. And let me not see my wretchedness. Mm -hmm. He know he was wrong. Mm -hmm. He was upset, but he was still repeating. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people and officers over them, and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there. And I will take of the spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou, that thou bear it not thyself alone. Mm -hmm. 
And say unto the people, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. It's holiness in it. It's holiness enough. And ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? God heard everything they were saying. Amen. Amen. He, had, he heard everything they were saying, whether they were saying it in or out, mm -hmm. whether they were saying it outside the tent or inside the tent. Mm -hmm. God heard everything, mm -hmm. and he re rehearsed it back to them. Mm -hmm. For it was well with us in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Therefore the Lord will give you the flesh, and ye shall eat. That's you know what he tells us. Mm -hmm. You don't well, you don't say that it was better when you, when you were back there in Egypt. He said, I'm going to get to you. Mm -hmm. And you shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month until it come out at your mouth. Good. Oh. Jesus. Said, yes. He said, I'm going to get to you until it come right out of your mouth. And it, and it be loathsome unto you. In other words, until you get tired, mm -hmm. until you get fed up, until you start crying about that. Mm -hmm. He let them know, he prophesied them to them, letting them know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Because that ye have despised the Lord, which is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Egypt? Mm -hmm. Ain't that something to say? Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, that's why we got to be careful. That's why you got to let go of this world. That's mm -hmm. why you got to put the common man under subjection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. God don't want no flesh. All right. He already know what's in me. When Jesus mm -hmm. came on the scene, look at what the scripture said. He needed not that anybody should testify me. For he knew what was in me. Amen. He created me. He know what's in me. He know this flesh ain't no good thing in this flesh. Amen. He know this flesh is a mess. He know there ain't nothing but sin in this flesh. And if you want to serve him and please him, you won't have to put the flesh on your foot. Amen. And Moses said, the people among whom I am are 600,000 footmen, and thou hast said I will give them flesh that they may eat a whole month. Now he still ain't got to set quite together again. He still questioning God. Mm -hmm. Shall the flocks and the herd be slain for them to suffice them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to suffice them? Hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, is the Lord's hand right short? See, he was reminding him of everything that he had done. In the lower hand wax shut. Then thou, thou shalt see now whether my words shall come to pass unto thee or no. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered the elders, gathered the seven men and the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the seven elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. Mm -hmm. Look at how God moved. Mm -hmm. His word came to pass. That's not he said. Mm -hmm. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad and the name of the other Medad. And the spirit rested upon them too. They hadn't even gathered them together. But see, God already knew they were. Mm -hmm. So he put his spirit on them too. Mm -hmm. And they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle. And they prophesied in the camp too. God will move. Amen. He was moving on the seven elders, and he was moving on the mother too. Mm -hmm. So maybe it was 68 that showed up, and he moved on the other two that made seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. And there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, his son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Endless thou for my sake? Would God that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Now he gave himself together. Mm -hmm. And Moses got him into the camp, he and the elders of Israel. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea. Mm -hmm. And let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side. And as it was a day's journey on the other side round about the camp. And as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the people stood up all that day and all that night and all the next day and gathered the quails. 
he that gather less gather ten homes, and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. Mm -hmm. Look how God bless. Look at the <laughs> multitude of the court. Mm -hmm. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, or it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was killed against the people, and the Lord spoke the people with a great plague. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, my God. God was a Yes, he was. Yeah. Woo. They mess around and touch their nose with God. They got themselves in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm done saying thank God for the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to we got to speak the same things. Mm -hmm. we, we got to agree with what the Lord has planned, what He won't do. We got to walk after the Spirit of God. If anybody that's not saved, we we'll give back to the Lord. Amen. This is the time. We come to the Lord now. Amen. 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 Amen.